there are a lot of um, gun violence cases that we have and a lot involving uh, teenagers. If you're a part of the underworld or the criminal activity that takes place in Manatee County, you know who to go to and where to go, and with a little bit of money, you can get a gun. Unfortunately, uh, most of those people, when they go and buy a gun, they don't know how to use a gun. And uh, Jasmine Thompson's death is kind of mirrored in that because the person that had the gun allegedly was randomly firing that gun and Jasmine was struck and killed. So the proponents of let's have stricter gun laws, we have plenty of gun laws in place. Uh, what we need are people not to be selling guns to kids and other people illegally. September 4th, 2009 began like any other day for Jasmine Thompson, a 17-year-old cheerleader. She went to school, hung out with her friends, and then cheered for her football team at a rival high school. However, when she was leaving the rival school with her friends after the game, a man approached their car. After a short conversation, he pulled a gun and fired four shots. <laughs> Terrified, the car full of girls quickly drove home only discovered Jasmine had been struck by one of the bullets. The girls were too afraid to call the police. Instead, they called Jasmine's grandmother, Aretha James. She listened in disbelief at the girls' frantic pleas for help. By the time any aid arrived on the scene, it was too late. Jasmine Thompson's life had come to a quick and tragic end. Later, Daniel Williams confessed to wielding the weapon that killed Jasmine. However, his confession was not enough to bring back the life that was lost. Jasmine was jazz. I mean, she was a beautiful girl, beautiful spirit, outgoing, just one heck of a kid. After I left the school, just walking down there, out in the hallway, it was the hardest thing in the world because it hit me that I would never have to make her to school anymore. You know, I would have to go in and wake her up in the morning or tease her or go pick her up from school or go pick her up from her girlfriend's house at the chili to practice or go watch her at the games and never would hear her voice anymore. Her laughter, her giggles. I have a great grandchild named Kennedy, that her and Jasmine were so close. And it was hard to try to explain to, to her. Eventually, I just told her she was a star in the sky. I just took her outside and showed her the stars. But then eventually, um, we just finally told her Jasmine was dead, you know. We'd go to the cemetery, and pray and cry. Sing songs and, and I still go there every day and pray and I cry. And sing songs. I just hope that whoever's watching this show think about the hurt that you cause families because this has hurt us tremendously. We can always forgive. They say forgive and forget, but you can always forgive. I forgive, but I'll never forget. Never forget. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. I'll never forget.